Greetings fellow learners, this is going to be the first video in a playlist of videos on Gen AI. But before we get into this wonderful world of Gen AI, I've got a thought-provoking question for you. Where do you see yourself using AI or Gen AI in your life? I, like many of you, use ChatGPT in place of Google. It's super fun getting into those philosophical rabbit holes with the not yet so sentient AI. Absolutely riveting. Now, how do you use AI? Pray tell in the comments down below, and I would love to hear your thoughts. Now, this is a great segue into today's wonderful video where we're going to talk about these buzzwords and explain their relationship with each other. You don't need any prerequisite knowledge to understand the video, and we'll explain the terms at a high level as we draw out a Venn diagram to show their relationship with each other. This video will be divided into three passes with multiple quizzes along the way, so pay attention, get them right, make your mom proud, let's get to it. Let's start with our first buzzword, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is a field of study that involves developing methods and techniques to solve problems. So in this case, the field of study is AI, artificial intelligence. And one important term that we also want to describe here that'll come up throughout the video is that of a solution, or in this case, an AI solution. An AI solution refers to a specific method or technology that is applied to solve a problem. So what's an example of an AI solution? Let's say that we wanna build a system that takes in a speech wave and determines what word you say. This is a famous problem of speech recognition. Now, one solution is to solve this problem using some rule-based system. So we break the sound wave into chunks, map them to phonemes, and recognize the word spoken. Now, this solution is an algorithmic method to solve the problem, and hence, by definition of an AI solution, this rule-based system is an artificial intelligence solution. So right now, let's represent the field of artificial intelligence with this large rectangle over here. And within these fields, we're going to write down individual solutions. So in this case, it would be like a rule-based AI system. The next buzzword is machine learning. Machine learning is a field of study that involves using a trained model to solve problems. So the field of study here is machine learning, and then the machine learning solutions are trained models. A trained model is a method, an algorithm, or technology that is developed by analyzing patterns in data. The field of machine learning is a subset of the field of AI. This is because the machine learning solutions, which are trained models, are a subset of AI solutions too. And because machine learning is a field, we draw it as this rectangle. So what are examples of solutions that fall in the outer rectangle versus this inner rectangle? So let's take the rule-based system we described previously. The solution used was a bunch of rules to recognize a word. This is not a trained model based on patterns in data. And hence, rule-based systems are AI solutions, but not ML solutions. And hence, they lie in this outer region. But what's an example of a solution that is an ML solution? Well, instead of a rule-based system, we can train a model on data to recognize patterns between speech and different phonemes. And so we could take a speech wave, process it, and then convert it into phonemes in order to predict a word. And the model here could be a hidden Markov model, a support vector machine, and many more. Because these solutions were created from analyzing patterns between speech and words, the solutions are ML solutions. Hence, they fit in the inner region. The next buzzword is deep learning. So deep learning is a field of study that involves using trained neural network models to solve problems. Now, neural networks are interconnection of neurons. And the field of study here is deep learning. The solution is the trained neural network models. And these are a subset of trained models. And so deep learning solutions will be a subset of ML solutions. 
And so this deep learning field will be a subset of the ML field. And hence, because deep learning is a field of study, we can represent it as a rectangle once again. And that rectangle is gonna be embedded within the ML rectangle. Now let's write the solutions again. So the rule-based systems are just AI, not ML, and hence they're also not deep learning. Hidden Markov models support vector machines are trained models, but again, these models are not neural networks. Hence, these solutions are in the ML region, but not in the deep learning region. Now for a solution to fall in this deep learning region, we would need a neural network that is trained to analyze patterns between speech and words. And then we could use the neural network to take in some speech and predict the spoken word. Quiz time. Have you been paying attention? Let's quiz you to find out. Which of these is a machine learning solution? A, a neural network to classify an image as a cat or a dog. B, a fixed formula to determine the price of a house given the last sale price. C, a decision tree created from data to classify an image as a cat or a dog. Or D, a decision tree created based on intuition to classify an image as a cat or a dog. Note here that multiple options may be correct, and I'll give you a few seconds to answer this question. The correct answers are A and C, but can you tell me why? Give your reasoning down in the comments below, and I would love to hear your thoughts. And at this point, if you think I do deserve it, please do consider giving this video a like because it will help me out a lot. That's gonna do it for quiz one and pass one of this explanation, but keep paying attention because I'm gonna be back to quiz you. Now let's talk about natural language processing or NLP. NLP is a field that involves using methods and techniques to solve natural language problems. So the field here is natural language processing, and the solution can be any method or technique. So by this definition, NLP solutions are a subset of just AI solutions. But that's where the comparison stops, because NLP solutions may or may not be trained models, hence the rectangle for NLP could intersect with ML. NLP solutions may or may not be trained neural network models, Hence, the NLP rectangle can intersect with this deep learning rectangle too. And so, because NLP is a field of study, we can draw the rectangle accordingly. So, what are examples of NLP solutions now? Honestly, it could be the same as all the AI solutions as long as they solve language problems. So, a rule-based system that solves speech recognition falls under NLP. But a rule-based system that predicts the price of a house falls under AI, but not NLP. Hidden Markov models support vector machines are designed to solve speech recognition that we described before, and these fall under both NLP and machine learning. Support vector machines designed to classify images, let's say as a cat or a dog, can fall under machine learning, but not NLP. Neural networks that solve speech recognition fall under NLP and deep learning, but neural networks that predict the price of a house fall under deep learning, but not NLP. I hope these bucketization of solutions are still looking pretty clear. Now, the next term that we want to do is the big kahuna, which is Gen AI. So Gen AI is a field of study that involves using generative models to solve problems. So the field is Gen AI, and the solutions are going to be generative models. Now, we discussed before that a trained model is a method, algorithm, or technology that is developed by analyzing patterns in data. Now, a generative model is a trained model that learns the distribution of data and can generate new data. So by this definition, Gen AI solutions are a subset of machine learning solutions. This is because ML solutions are trained ML models. Gen AI solutions are trained generative models. Now, Gen AI solutions may or may not be trained neural network models, and hence they intersect with this deep learning rectangle. 
Now, because GenAI is a field, we represent this with a region on the Venn diagram. So what are examples of GenAI solutions? GenAI solutions, that is just AI and ML solutions, and not deep learning solutions, include Markov chains. So to paint this picture, let's say that we want to create a system that completes a story based on the given first 10 words. Markov chains are models trained on the text databases to understand how to generate text. And hence, they are trained generative models. And hence, Markov chains are Gen AI solutions. But they are not neural networks, so they are not deep learning solutions. Also, this specific Markov chain, because it solves language problems, also falls under NLP. But we can also have Markov chains that are trained to generate music, and these would fall outside of the NLP rectangle, but still in Gen AI. Just a note here that Markov chains, they're not really used that much these days with the advent of a larger, more powerful technologies that we'll discuss next. But just to understand for the sake of completeness, you can see how they fit in. Quiz time. It's that time of video again. Have you been paying attention? Let's quiz you to find out. Which of the following is an example of a Gen AI? A, a neural network that can generate images. B, a neural network that can generate text. C, a neural network that can classify an image as a cat or a dog. Or D, a decision tree that is created from data to classify an image as a cat or a dog. Note that multiple options here may be correct. I'll give you a few seconds to answer this question. The correct options are A and B. But can you tell me why? Comment your reasoning down below and let's have a discussion. That's gonna do it for quiz time and past two for now, but keep paying attention because I'm still gonna be back to quiz you. Next is language model. So a language model is a method or technology used to solve a language modeling problem. So here, the field is broadly natural language processing as language modeling problems are a subset of language problems. And the solution here is going to be some method or technology that is the language model. So a language model takes in context words and it predicts the next word or some middle word. Now, from the definition of the field, the language model is an AI solution. It is also an NLP solution as the language model solves a very specific language problem. And so these solutions can fall in either machine learning, deep learning, or just generative AI. So for example, the, the Markov chain that we discussed in the previous pass is a language model because it takes in 10 context words and it tries to generate the next word. Now we can come up with a rule-based language model that predicts the next word based on rules. And this would be just AI because there's no learning of patterns in data. Now, a language model that makes use of a neural network is a deep learning solution. And an example of this would be large language models. So introducing large language models is a buzzword. The large language model is a large neural network used to solve the language modeling problem. So large neural network is a neural network with just a lot of parameters to learn, typically in the millions or billions of parameters. The field is natural language processing and AI, as large language models are language models and they also belong to the same fields. Now, the solution here is a large neural network, and hence LLMs, large language models, are a subset of deep learning solutions. Hence, we can say that large language models are a class of solutions in the deep learning and NLP intersection. What are some example solutions, let's just say, of these large language models? An example of large language model that intersects with Gen AI is ChatGPT. So ChatGPT is a neural network with a large number of parameters and hence it is a LLM. 
ChatGPT is trained to understand the distribution of text data from the internet. And in usage, we give it a question, it generates text. And hence, ChatGPT is a generative model and is a Gen AI solution too. Now, what are the examples of large language models that are not Gen AI? Well, this could be a BERT model that is used as a sentiment analyzer. For example, we could pre-train BERT on the task of language modeling, and then we could fine tune BERT to classify an input sentence as being a positive sentiment or a negative sentiment. And we could do the same for GPT as well. And so this here is a more complete diagram of the fields as rectangles with their solutions laid out inside. Quiz time. Ooh, this is gonna be a fun one. Which of the following is an example of a Gen AI, but not a large language model? A, a large neural network chatbot that generates text based on a question. B, a small neural network that generates summaries of input documents. C, a logistic regression that classifies a movie review as positive or negative review. Or D, a large neural network that classifies a movie review as positive or negative review. Note here that multiple options may be correct, and I'll give you a few seconds to answer this question. The correct option is B. But can you tell me why? Comment your reasoning down below and let's have a discussion. And at this point, if you do think I deserve it, please do consider giving this video a like because it will help me out a lot. Now that's gonna do for quiz time and pass three of this video, but before we go, let's generate a summary. In this video, we explain some important buzzwords in the AI space. We identified the rectangular regions as the fields with some specific solutions that we have written in them. And with these definitions, we've created this beautiful diagram. And so I hope this adds clarity to how these different terms are related to each other. And that's all we have for today. If you're interested now in learning a little bit more about some technical details on say reinforcement learning, which is a core learning paradigm of machine learning, I have a playlist of videos that you can check out right over here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you think I do deserve it, please do consider giving this video a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.